Guys, what is going on? I hope you're well. Um, I want to make a video about Hosea Burton. Um, Hosea Burton fought yesterday. Um, he beat Edgar Sneeds um, in a unanimous decision. Uh, he displayed good boxing skills, controlling the action, winning quite comfortably. Um, Hosea Burton's a very good fighter. I think a fighter that's gone under the radar a little bit. Um, he was with Eddie Hearn and he just wasn't able to get the fights. I think after his loss... Um, against Frank Bruglioni, his career really went pear-shaped and, and um, Jose Burton always said that he's a good fighter and he got caught in that fight and he couldn't, wasn't able to recover. He got caught cold and he wasn't able to recover and he said he was winning that fight and he's probably right. He's a very good fighter and actually he's gone under, he's gone under the radar and now he, I think he's teamed up with MTK Global. He's trying to get more active. He's another fighter that's not very active uh, that... MTK Global are hopefully going to take care of him, get him active so he gets the fights and get him the recognition he deserves because I think he has gone under the radar after the Frank Buglioni loss. Uh, he's not been getting the fights. He's called off. He's called out guys like Anthony Yard, uh, Joshua Boazzi, and he just hasn't been able to get those fights. And, he, and it's been very frustrating for uh, Jose Burton because he's not getting those fights and he wants those fights. Uh, you got a feel for him uh, because... You know, he's a good fighter and he deserves the opportunities. You know, there's a lot of fighters that are decent, uh, but just don't seem to get the opportunities. And I think Jose Burton's another one of those fighters that is just not not getting those opportunities. Now, the light, light uh, heavyweight division is very uh, stacked with talent. If you look at the light heavyweight division, look at all the great fighters that are there domestically and on a world stage. You would say Jose Burton's not at a world stage yet. He's at the domestic level. We've got to see him in against guys like... Yard, Boatsy, see how he gets on. He'd be underdogs in those fights. Um, so, yeah, it'd be very interesting. You know, I think Jose Burton deserves a chance at the British title. I think Joshua Boatsy currently holds that, right? Uh, I think that would be a, definitely be a great fight for him. I think I think Boatsy and Burton would be a great fight for, for Boatsy to see where he's at. And also, let's see what Burton's about. Burton's been, you know, been screaming and shouting that he doesn't get opportunities, that he wants to prove himself. Uh, I think a fight between Boatsy and Burton makes sense for both guys, if I'm totally honest with you. I think it's a fight that, you know, the promoters should think of making and make it happen. I think Jose Burton's been sidelined. He's a good fighter. I think he deserves the opportunities and I don't think he's been getting them. So I do think that, you know, Burton deserves the opportunities. He's a good fighter. Um, and I think he should be getting put in there with guys like Boatsy, guys like Yard. But the thing is, Yard is looking to go on to world level now he wants to fight Kovalev so you know that fight's probably out of the question but definitely the Boatsy fight is there for um Burton because Boatsy still operating at that kind of level so I think they should make it but leave your thoughts guys let me know what you think about Jose Burton uh do you think he's a fighter there's a good fight that's gone under the radar leave your thoughts guys in the comment section below and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next video